All right, everybody. Well, I know I said the next video was going to be the startup of our outdoor selling fan, but something ended up came coming up. The guy came back and he had actually just left about the lawnmower. And you see the battery charge is gone. But as you see here, we got a temporarily battery for now. It's not, it's just temporarily because he hooked us up with in case if I've wanted to cut grass with. And he, he actually ran it for a moment and checking everything, checking the blades and stuff. Um, there was a belt that was started, there's the thread of a belt that he pulled off, but it's, it's good enough to where it's still, the blades will still work and stuff. It ran just fine. And whatnot. It's really good. See, it's still warm. I put some feel up in it, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to have enough feel exactly to cut all three of the yards yet. So... Can't do anything about cutting today, cause I'm gonna, uh, cause I'm gonna run out of fuel. Definitely gonna be running out of fuel, cause I gotta cut four yards. Well, the front yard, and then I go over and do my older sister's both front and backyards, and I do our backyard last, cause it's the biggest. So that's normally how I do it. I cut grass in our front yard, go over to my older sister's, and cut her yard and then do our backyard which is up there last i know i did a subscriber special which ended up being unfinished about cutting because my battery was just about dead on my back when i had my note 8 but it's all ready to go for now but he's gonna hook us up with a better battery later on next few days hopefully but he gave us a temporary temp, a battery that's tem, temporarily you know what i mean trying to say it's a husky by xide battery so yeah i had a, i had a, had a lucky feel i had a i had a lucky feeling the bat the old battery on there was cooked and it was even though he cleaned the corrosion so batter, mower's all set set and ready to go course the blade levels on six because I raise it up high so that way it won't drag and whatnot so hopefully but I but he did a startup of it I didn't get it on video but I'm I'm gonna wait and get an actual startup of it whenever I'm gonna be cutting grass so but there you go it's all set and ready to go it's running like it should blades were coming on I know I didn't get it on video because yeah piece of a bell thread it's he said it's a bit worn but not worn enough to he said it's not worn enough yet to where it will break down the blades will break down on me so it's enough to cut he said it's enough to where i can cut over the weekend oh now by the way about the trimmer um unfortunately the um when he was trying to put some feel in it it had a busted feel line so he took that with him he's going to service it and bring it back later on so trimmer's not here right now he took that had a busted feel line unfortunately now now i know exactly why there was some puddles right there as you see now because i figured i figured something wasn't right i know it i know the field didn't evaporate he thought the field we thought the field might have evaporated but as you could probably tell by the puddle it had a busted field line probably some bugs or something might have gotten into it but oh well, there's the oil that we put in there. It's a STP. It's a say 10 W40 motor oil. 10 W40. It works on this mower. So it's all pre pretty much ready to go now. Of course, I, again, I'm not going to do any cutting because I know I'm going to run out of fuel. But when I, by the time I start cutting our backyard, so and. I poured whatever fuel was left out of here. My mom's gonna get more fuel. Unfortunately, I can't. I can't. I can't go myself. I mean, I never took a taxi cab to the gas station. I mean, I live kind of close to a gas station, but it's a long walk if that's the case. <laughs> Anyways, probably could. 
I don't know if the, the taxi cabs and stuff will let you carry those kind of things with you, so that's okay. I'll just wait till my mom gets home. Maybe we can either tonight or maybe over the weekend we can put some more fuel in there. And yeah, hopefully. But also one thing he mentioned, he was going to haul this and like maybe next week or so, he's probably going to haul this with him and, and uh, service it, uh, blow out the carburetor because I don't have the air, I don't have an air compressor to blow the carburetor or clean the carburetor with. I don't have an air compressor with me. I, went, I thought about getting one for Christmas, but I never did. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end off the video here. Once again, the Craftsman LT3000 lawnmower is all set and ready to go. Unfortunately, the Echo GT200R, I believe it was, trimmer, is not. It's because it's gotta, the fuel line's got to be replaced. That's why he took it with him. He's going to bring it back sooner or later. And... Well, I bet he, and then, and then later, and then probably next week or two, he'll t load up this lawnmower on his truck and then just service it from there. But it's, it, it, at least he got it, he got it to where I can, be, in case if I wanted to cut over the weekend, which I might. Only problem is, the only problem is they would have to, I'd probably have to cut whenever these two cars are not here. Yes, that's my um, sister's car and that's her boyfriend's truck right there. Yes, yeah, because my sister apparently got her license and stuff, so... And I haven't even got my permit or license yet, which is... I don't know. Anyways, that's her car, of course, and that's her boyfriend's truck. Yes, her boyfriend is living with us. That's wonderful. What, what I mean by with us is with me and my mom as well. But, yeah. All right, everyone, well, I'm going to jump off here and hopefully get back to the regularly scheduled thing I was trying to make before he showed up. I was actually I was actually outside ready to record the ceiling fan, but he, I mean, shoot, he done, he done, he done came up out of nowhere. So I, he parked his truck in the front yard this time around, and I heard the dogs barking, so. All right, we'll shut the garage now. I'm going to throw this piece of belt away. bit noisy for what a little extra noisy for whatever reason one of those lights on there were actually flickering yesterday when i was out here it's probably got a loose bulb those are actually still the, those those garage door opener lights take up to 100 watts of light bulbs so so that therefore you got two 100 watt bulbs so i was obviously using 200 watts out of it and there's the fur babies I'll just throw that. I'll just throw that away here later. There's Lucy, who is. I know I showed Pip earlier. The Jack Russell Terrier. And here's Lucy, the um, what did my sister call it? The Chihuahua Dotson Poodle, some kind of mixed dog. I don't know what you would actually call it, but she got some poot poodle in her for sure. All right, next video we're gonna be <clears throat> starting up the ceiling fan out here. Like I was originally planning on it. So, see you on the next one.